Mr. Miracle, issue number four. Man, <laughs> this series just keeps getting weirder and weirder. So this is going to be a short video because the majority of this issue is one scene. Um, and most of that scene is dialogue. And I'm not going to be reading all the dialogue, obviously. I'm just going to kind of summarize what's going on. So this should be pretty quick. So we start off with uh, Scott in bed. Um, and he's resting. As we saw in the last issue, um, Orion beat the heck out of Scott again. I'm really starting to hate Orion, which is kind of funny because I actually really liked him when I was reading uh, <laughs> New Gods. But uh, the classic Jack Kirby New Gods. But yeah, they uh, they don't make him very nice. <laughs> and I know Orion has always been kind of a hothead, but they just like cranked it up to 11 in this series. Light Ray is also kind of a, a D-bag. Uh, speaking of Light Ray, he arrives and he basically informs Scott that he has been declared an agent of Darkseid. And uh, yeah, I'm finally pronouncing the name right. I keep I kept pronouncing it Darkseid, but it's actually Darkseid. Uh, thanks. I forgot who it was, but thanks whoever pointed that out to me. I've never seen any I know that the new gods appeared uh, in some of the um, DC cartoon shows, but I've never watched any of them, so I've never seen anyone refer to Darkseid, you know, vocally. This I, every time I've seen Darkseid, it's just been like in text format, so I never had a you know pronunci a correct pronunciation for it. But now I know. So Darkseid. Anyways, uh, Light Ray informs Scott that uh, he's been declared an agent of Darkseid. And that he's going to, um, he has a choice, either execution or trial. So Scott obviously says trial. And then um, Scott picks the location of the trial, which is going to be in his home. And then uh, before Light Ray can leave, Big Barda beats him up. And I was like, yes. <laughs> now just do the same to Orion. Orion's the one person I want to see get his butt kicked. So yeah, um, Scott starts to like fall asleep and we just get like weird stuff where uh, like on the TV we see um, Granny Goodness and she says, I drew God, but no one knows what God looks like. Yeah, this this series is like a weird mind screw. So uh, yeah, this is the big scene that I was talking about. The, the rest of this issue is just going to be this one scene and it's the trial. So Orion, Light Ray arrive at Scott and Barda's house and basically like I said Scott has been accused of being an agent of Darkseid and they are going to do a trial to have Scott try to prove that he's not and um Orion basically basically sabotages the trial by uh appointing himself as the accuser the defender and the judge so uh yeah this is basically <laughs> this is basically kangaroo court for Scott. Basically, the way they're gonna find out if Scott is an agent or not is they're gonna do true or false questions. Because as Orion points out, I will read this part. Every statement is either true or false. If it weren't, it wouldn't be a statement. So uh, he's basically gonna ask him questions, and Scott can only answer true or false. He can't answer with anything else. So basically, he's he's already just sabotage this trial i mean he sabotaged it more i mean he sabotaged it when he appointed himself um accuser defender and judge <laughs> so yeah kangaroo court so he basically asked scott a bunch of questions and it's questions it's kind of hard to explain because i don't want to read everything but basically like you know uh do you believe high father is an agent of dark side and then scott says yes and the high father right now is orion orion is the, the new high father um, you know, am I an agent of Dark Side? Orion asks, and Scott's like, true. You were the one that killed Granny Goodness. False. Big Barda was the one that killed Granny Goodness. True. The Forger, like, arrived in your home last night. True. The Forger deserved to die. True or false? False. So yeah, Scott's basically like, is this a trap? You know, I escape from traps kind of thing. And Big Barda is just pretty much say, you know, telling him, you know, say the word go and we'll go. <laughs> and then Light Ray tries, uh, Tries to act all cool. He's like, yes, say go. Like, any powers up. It's like, Light Ray, you're just going to get your butt kicked again. So please, Scott, say go so I can see that happen. But yeah, we get like a sad moment where uh, Orion calls 
Scott by his name, Scott Free. And then he informs Orion that that's not his real name. Basically, that was the name that Granny gave him because Scott kept on trying to escape. And then every time when he thought that he did, Granny caught him and says, you know, basically after him says, hi, you got off Scott Free. So that's where he got the name Scott Free. And, you know, he says, you know, my name is not Mr. Miracle. I took that name from a guy that I met here on Earth, you know, after he died. So he doesn't know what his real name is. You know, he says, like, you know, I assume father gave me one before he gave me the dark side. And Orion kind of takes advantage of this by saying, you know, you hate our father. And basically he goes on this whole spiel about hate. Like, you know, you you hate me, referring to, uh, Orion's referring to himself, you hate me. You hate New Genesis. You hate Apocalypse. You hate your career. You hate your childhood. Um, you hate your life, you hate yourself, you hate God, and all this time, Scott is saying true, and uh, the hate thing keeps on going, like, you know, uh, hate made you doubt everything, hate drove you to escape everything, hate made you kill yourself, and Scott keeps saying true, and this is the part where it got really crazy, so he says, you are hate, true or false, true, the anti-life equation is hate, true or false, true, you are the anti-life equation, true or false. So Scott, it's, it's implying that Scott is the anti-life equation. Which, if so, holy cow. So anyway, Scott goes into like a bind rage and he punches the hell out of Orion. Knocks his helmet out, bloodies his nose. And Big Bardo has to like hold him back. And Orion is just like shocked. I don't know if he's shocked at... Scott snapped or shocked that he got punched in the face or what, but yeah. And then um, Orion is like, you know, I judge you guilty. Uh, and since I cannot contain Mr. Miracle, report to my throne room in three days where I perform your execution. Him and Lightway disappear. And uh, the scene ends with Big Barda holding a crying Mr. Miracle. Not crying because he, he's going to get executed, but crying because of the fact that he might have just realized that he's the life equation. We still don't know. I mean, this whole thing, this whole series has been like a huge mind screw, but yeah. What a crazy, what a crazy issue. I really do hope Orion gets his butt kicked. But yeah, that was uh, Mr. Miracle number four. So yeah, this video is going to be short. It's kind of hard to really talk about too much because um, a lot of this is just, like I said, it's kind of like a mind screw. This, this whole series just kind of leaves you guessing. But the fact that Scott might be the anti-life equation is uh, a really crazy twist. Like, uh, insert uh, M. Night Shyamalan a ding dong. <laughs> what a twist. Yeah, that's that's basically with this whole series. Just twist after twist, mind screw after mind screw. But I enjoy it. I, I think it's really good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.